Here is the micro bit with a simple connection to a servo. It is plugged, the micro bit is plugged into the computer via USB to get the program. And it's also getting power right now from the computer. I could unplug the USB after I got the program and plug in three volts via this JST connector, there's a jack on the back. This power pack usually comes with a micro bit, a starter pack kind of thing. It is a triple A battery pack. You could use a double A battery pack, but only three volts. I'm using pin one for the signal to the servo and then power and ground. The program says that on the startup, um, don't move the servo. This is a continuous rotation servo, uh, which means that it won't just turn to an angle. It's going to rotate clockwise, counterclockwise, depending on which number has been sent to it. And on button A, it's going to go one direction. On button B, it's going to go a different direction. Now, being a servo and doing counterclockwise, clockwise, I, I really would want a third input, like put, get a pin, uh, push button, or switch on zero so that I could stop it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to press the reset button, which is on the back, which takes it back to starting the program over. Again, only three volts to a micro bit, and there's a simple connection for a servo. Now, here's uh, the program in case you want to know. Again, a very simple program in uh, make code. On start, write 90 to the pin. On a continuous rotation servo, that tells it to stop. On an angle servo, it would tell it to go to 90 degrees. And then if I press button A, send it a zero, which on a continuous rotation servo says turn one direction. And on button B, 180, which is the other direction. Now, on an angle servo, that would turn something to angle zero and turn something to angle 180. Um, you notice in the make code, they got a nice little emulator there, which is good. And then all those pin, all those uh, blocks that you can use to make things happen.